हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव अपलोडेड द वीडियो फॉर द थर्ड सेमेस्टर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग बिफोर एंड वी हैव गॉट सम क्वेरीज एंड वी हैव सॉल्व इट एंड ऑन एन एवरेज वी हैव गॉट 50 टू 55 मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इन एवरी पेपर सो आई होप इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू स्टूडेंट्स टू पास द एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज ऑलरेडी यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू थ्रू अवर वीडियोज you will know that every topic or every question will relate to some question in gtu paper so it is easy to pass the examination and we have got the very positive response from the students of mechanical engineering and as well as civil engineering for the mechanics of solids particularly and now it is time for the first semester mechanical engineering or all the branches i think yes all the branches and uh, I, we will start from the elements of mechanical engineering which is the basic subject for the mechanical engineering students and as well as all the branches but for the mechanical engineering students i will recommend that you should go through this subject perfectly because it at the every time for for the mechanical engineering in every semester you will find the use of this particular subject at least you should know the basics at least you should know the fundamentals of the subject you will find the importance of this subject later in the mechanical uh, semesters so it will you should go through this this subject in short that uh, do not miss this sub, any chapter of this subject so, and for the other branch do not uh, afraid of this subject because in everything in mechanical engineering you can visualize if you are learning boiler you can visualize the boiler if you are learning for the pump you can visualize the pump if you are learning the compressor we you can visualize the compressor as well as you can see in the real world so understanding basic basics the subject is very easy so if you are going for just cramming method it will be hard for you little bit harder not much hard not much but uh, if you are going with the fundamental if you are going with the logic it will be easy so let's start oh sorry for the introduction for first chapter in the first chapter i think there are so many definitions and laws and etc so many one marker question there is not any equation which can be asked in the seven mark from the first chapter so i should recommend that uh, you should go through the first chapter once because because not much harder to understand so it will be easy for you to crack the one marker question or if they are going for ask the uh, questions like it is the five marker question and five five marks definitions in there so it will be easy for you if you are going through the first chapter now coming to the energy part energy part it is the easiest chapter you have learned in the environment subject in the standard 7th or 8th ozone depletion global warming biofuels various sources of energy generally they are asking the question from this particular chapter in 4 to 7 marks uh, they can ask the explain the concept of ozone depletion depletion if we have learned it in the standard of 7th and 8th then again if we yes, in, in, in the 11 12 science this topic comes global warming biofuel sources of energy if you are not uh, learning this chapter during the uh, semester time or the whole semester and just give the one hour or two hours before the examination so it will be easy for you to pass do not give much time yes here you have give to give too much time like the properties of gases so for in the properties of gases different definition for 3 to 4 marks boyle's law and charles law derive the general equation with the net sketch cp and cv isothermal process adiabatic process one example related to different processes like adiabatic and polytropic so here i think it is not much harder because boyle's law and charles law we have learned already in the chemistry in 11 10 12 science yes and cp and cv pv is equal to nrt gas equation all the things we have learned before there is nothing new in this chapter but uh, i think there will be an example for the adiabatic process isothermal process so that will be little bit harder for you but uh, if you know the equation if you know the process then this is also easy so for the mechanical engineering stu student i am saying that go through this chapter perfectly because in the third semester there will be subject engineering thermodynamics in the fifth semester there will be subject of heat transfer and in the sixth subject there will be subject of uh, power plant engineering in all the subject you will find the use of all the process either it is uh, isothermal or adiabatic and all the process so mechanical engineering students please go through this chapter once 
because it will be easy for you then you will understand the importance i have said before after the semesters properties of steam yes it is easiest so easiest i have ever seen in the elements of mechanical engineering now explain the formulation of steam with net sketch and mention all the th terms related to sketch so uh, like latent heat uh, and all the heats uh, um, latent heat and i can say sensible heat uh, there is one graph in the if you are using books india yes uh, then there is one graph in the second page of the elements of mechanical engineering book so uh, go through that one graph for the latent heat sensible heat and conversation of all and these are the questions and one question one uh, example will be uh, from this chapter so these are the questions from the properties of steam now going for the heat engine difference between e heat and ic engine and uh, ec engine explain the carnot cycle and derive its equation of efficiency how rankine cycle differs from the carnot cycle otto cycle and one example of uh, this chapter which will ask in the examination now this heat engine will help you in the sixth semester yes in the sixth semester in the sixth semester there will be subject of ic engine so in the ic engine you will find the use of heat engines better so go through this chapter yes you can find the importance of this chapter when you are learning the ic engine subject because this chapter will con contain the whole subject in the engi mechanical engineering yes steam boiler classification of boiler difference between mounting and accessory and the list down and any one of the boiler this is easiest easiest chapter there we will they will ask the mountings of the boiler accessories of the boiler different types of benson boiler cochran boiler and all the boilers they will they can ask the one of the boilers or classification of the boiler and it is easy to understand so go through this whole chapter once because around seven marks question will be asked from this chapter and you can draw just draw the boiler explain the how boiler works or how there are how there how much i mean how many components are there in the boiler explain just few things draw the net sketch and get the full marks that's it so go through the this chapter once and for the mechanical this use of steam boiler you will find it in the power plant engineering and there is a second chapter in the power plant engineering is the boilers yes there will be some high pressure boilers will be there but uh, if you are going with the fundamental then it will be easy for you in the that chan ic engineers classification of ic engine explain the fuel nozzle and fuel pump four stroke auto cycle valve timing discuss diesel engine petrol engine comparison between auto and diesel cycle so you will find the use of ic engine there will be whole subject which named as ic engine in the mechanical and you will find the valve valve timing diagram for the four stroke and two stroke will be in that subject so go through this chap uh, this chapter for the mechanical yes continuous with ic engine there are some terms indicated power brake power friction efficiency mechanical efficiency thermal efficiency and example of this particular chapter now pumps explain single acting reciprocating pump double acting reciprocating pump concept of air chamber priming centrifugal pump screw pump and band pump you will find the use of pump everywhere in the mechanical engineering because whenever we are talking about the mechanical engineering the first thing come in our mind is the pumps right so i think you should go through this chapter once for the particular mechanical engineering or uh, the other branch can go through this particular question so they can understand in the better way but for the mechanical engineering there will be subject of fluid power engineering in the fifth semester so you should go through the pumps because it will be useful for you there so if you are like what i mean to say if you are clear with the fundamentals now then it will be easy for you to pass the examination or to understand the subject later because if you are going with the fundamentals now and if your fundamentals are clear so i think there there will be a time for you that you can understand the subject in a better way now the air compressor this is pumps and compressors are the basic component of the heat exchanger uh, or, or the heat exchangers or you can say the power plant system or you can say the all the particular plant system so again compressor will be used in the uh fl fluid power engineering you can find the use of it so go through this particular questions and uh, 
for the mechanical engineering student i again recommend that go through this chapters whole or go through this chapter thoroughly you should not ex uh, uh, leave the single fundamental or the single definitions now refrigeration and air conditioning it is important there will be a subject rsc in the 6th or 5th semester in the mechanical so vcr cycle vr cycle refrigerant refrigeration uh, window ac will again all the things will be repeated in that part coupling clutch and brake this will be con consist in the machine design part all the split coupling muffler coupling flange centrifugal clutch con clutch internal expanding shoe brake distance brake this will be consist this will consist in the machine design whole part so go through this chapter now transmission of motion and power the, yes this this chapter will can give you a um, proper marks if you are going with the particular questions there is nothing hard that you can say it is i cannot understand this concept you will not find this line in this chapter so transmission of motion and power this is easiest bell drive chain drive open bell drive open cl close bell drive explain the types of gear gear train we we can visualize the gear that's it you can understand this chapter nothing is new and engineering materials engineering materials will be helpful for you in the subject material science and metallurgy strength of the material and uh, there are so many particular parts in this engineering materials is, are important so go through this chapter this will this they can ask the definition for the engineering materials in the seven marks that they will ask the seven marks question and seven marks definitions there will be seven different number of definition will be seven so they can ask for the seven marks question like that four mark three mark or they can ask in the one marker questions so go through this chapter so yes again if you find this well video helpful for you then please like share and subscribe and if you have doubts regarding the me mechanical engineering then you can con contact us on the whatsapp number and yes uh, we are planning to uh, for the other branches as well if uh, i got some queries regarding the computer engineering and civil engineering but as of now as of, as of we are from the mechanical engineering only so i think as of now we will continue with the mechanical engineering in the future we will decide something about to give for the other branches but as of now for the mechanical engineering so again please share this video and uh, screw the examinations again yes thank you